I magic secrecy. It changed my, my camera angle again for this one. It keeps on zooming in for some reason. I don't know why my camera keeps on changing. It it's kind of weird. I know I can't change it while I'm live, but I'm like not understanding why it keeps on zooming in. So I'm gonna put on some chapstick here. Hi, Leah. <coughs> I'm so sorry that we are 20 minutes late. I was just having a very deep conversation with my husband, and I felt like that was much more important than doing the unboxing at the moment. So I continue to have a very deep. Uh, personal emotional conversation with my husband so you know you, you gotta pick those battles and one of them was yeah this this needs my attention and time more than doing the unboxing so the unboxing got put back a little bit more um so yeah here we go uh, we are unboxing the Witch's Roots. This theme is the Guided Seer. I'm super excited for this theme, so let's see what we've got in our box. This box is $29 plus tax. So my angle of view at, on the camera, it mm -hmm. looked like it said the Crudded Steer. Yes, it's the Builded Steer. This is what it looks like inside. Charity for paper after I show it to the camera. I show it to the camera first. It smells good. The box smells really good. Here we go. The guided seer is our theme. Maybe it's because of our lighting. I don't know why the camera is being weird that way. So I don't know. We'll have to fix the lighting. Uh, probably at a later date. Not right now. <coughs> okay, so look for the artwork first because that's what's on top all the time is the artwork. I have uh, hum Hamasa artwork here. How is it spelled? Is that not an H? Oh, okay, I found it. Okay. Is it an H? Did I? It's Hamasa. Hamasa, okay, Hamasa, so. Hamasa, Handbook of sh Handbook of Shadows. Hand. Hamasa Hand. Hamasa Hand. Book of Shadows Reference Page. There we go. <laughs> illustrated by A. E. Albert. This beautiful Hamasa Reference Page with wonderful information regarding the sacred and meaningful amulet placed within your book of shadows for reference, re reference while crafting and curating wall bridges. Oh, <laughs> Leah says it's Mercury and retrograde techno technology sucks. It does. Like, it started yesterday, so I don't know <coughs> if that's Mercury and retrograde messing around with my camera. That seriously needs to stop because it's annoying me. <laughs> Here we go. This is the oh, it's motherwort. Okay, so that's it. our herb, I suppose. This motherwort herbal grimoire artwork. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor motherwort. Add this beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows, Herbal Grimoire, or place on your altar for display. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alvin. Yes. My okay. voice is getting better. It is. It's getting better. Okay, this is what we got inside. Mm -hmm. The pink bag. The pink bag. The pink bag. Oh, it looks like an Aurora Quartz. That Tumbled looks, or wore Yeah, that's an Aurora, Aurora quartz. Rose quartz. Although you may find only or may although you may only think that Samhain may provide a night of connection with ancestors and guides, we commonly find that we commonly find that we find deep healing within each practice 
and ritual. We have included a tumbled or Aurora, or Aurora rug quartz to keep with you or place among your altar during this time of in during this time to enhance healing and gentle energy. Take the time to feel the energy held within this stone and its outer coating. Element connection, elemental connection, water. It's very, very pretty. It's very, it feels very light. <laughs> and thank you so much, Sherry, for joining us for uh, your first live with us. Uh, we're unboxing the witch's roots tonight. It's very pretty. I love it. I have an Aurora uh, clear quartz that I just got. Uh, if you've been following the whole uh, Libra candle thing that I did with Solterra, uh, I got a, a a clear quartz point that's an Aurora quartz. Very pretty. Did you finish burning it? No, throw it away. Why? Because it smells like like cucumber water, and it made my entire room smell like that, and I really didn't like the smell. So, yeah. Okay, what are we doing next? Are we doing we the gold? Yeah, let's do the gold one. Okay. We get the gold. Okay. It like? It's a goddess. It looks like a coin or a pendant or something. Dream goddess pewter coin. We have included a small and powerful goddess coin for you to carry with you during the season, reminding you of the great power Held within the feminine aspect of the divine goddess. Oh, she's, that's it. she's holding triple moons. That's pretty. <coughs> Very pretty. Okay. Next, I have the mother wart. Um, I don't think I, I. I'm pretty sure I don't have any mother wart in my collection of herbs. So this, this mother wart is a very long thing, so I am just going to pick a some just, things that stick yeah. out. This is mother wart. An appropriate herb to work with during Samhain. Mother wart is an ancestral plant and is known and recognized for its wonderful magic pro magical properties by many cultures and religions. From around the world, from Celtic tradition to Santira practice throughout Central and South America. Very cool. Um, Mother Wart purifies any sacred space and off and often found and it often is found within magical bath salt blends right? and ritual oils used for washing away stagnant and irrelevant energies. Huh. Hey, that sounds awesome. Sounds like may, something we really need. What do you think? May Mother Wart protect you on your journey ahead, allowing you peace of mind and security during the dark half of the year. Elemental, element earth, water, earth and water, planetary connection, Saturn and Moon and Venus. Very cool. Hmm. Very cool. Sounds like something <laughs> we could really use, huh? What do you think? Yeah, Sherry, love it. Shadow work, yeah, Leah. That's that's a good one. Uh, getting rid of that irritable energy and stuff like that. That irrelevant energy. Oh yeah, ir irrelevant is what it said. So. so. It, it, that's Stagnant cool. Stagnant and irrelevant energy. Yeah, that's that's a really good suggestion for it, Leah. I think some shadow work is is something that would go well with that particular. It smells pretty good. It smells pretty good. Yeah. Okay, what we got next? What we got next? This bubble wrap. This bubble wrap. Yeah. Okay. Which is a good one. Well, it doesn't look like. The oil. The oil looks like it's over here, and there's the candle and our incense. So whatever is not the candle, incense, or oil. <laughs> oil. I have no idea. Let's open it up and find out. Let's try to open it up and find out. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's a pendulum. Yeah, yep, looks that definitely looks like a pendulum. It's a rose quartz pendulum. 
Okay, those sports with moonstone pendulum. Pendulum, that's pretty. Look at those moonstones. To assist you during and this time. the rose quartz. We have included a wonderful and finely crafted rose quartz and moonstone pendulum. Although there are many ways to use this sacred tool, we have placed this pendulum within this collection to help you receive yes or no answers as well as assisting you in establishing a connection with the spirit realm around you as you grasp for as you grasp grasp the fob between your thumb and forefinger program your pendulum by establishing what each movement may mean for example front to back means yes and side to side means no once these have been verified you may ask you may begin to ask questions be cautious of what type of questions you ask during any div divinatory divinatory Divinatory. Divinatory ritual. As you may receive answers, you are not equipped to receive. I also have like some pendulum boards. I have this board that I've gotten from um, the the goddess provisions. I have several <coughs> different um, pendulums. This is going to be my first rose quartz. I have two clear quartz and three amethyst. This is going to be the first rose port, so I'm very excited for this one. Um, and they must choose you. My pendulums have chosen me. We'll find you one. So, and I also, for my birthday, got a really cool pendulum um, cloth that has like a board on it. I also have this, this is a printout that I got from <coughs> one of my my uh, classes when becoming a, a crystal uh, practitioner. This is a printout that was provided by uh, my instructor. So I, I have a lot of pendulum stuff that can be used for, for things like crystal healing and stuff like that. Ooh, a lapis, that's cool. I love pendulums. I use them on my clients. I use them on my clients all the time too, Leah, to, to find which chakras are spinning, uh, which are like blocked or spinning the wrong way. Uh, I use a pendulum to, to tell me uh, what's going on with people's chakras when I do their chakra work. I find them to be a very, very useful tool. So once you drop them on your freaking eye, <laughs> goof, you're all, huh? <laughs> It's very pretty. So, also, Sherry, if you are new to the page, um, uh, you can go to the photos. And there's, uh, I do a lot of stuff for tarot um, information. Right now, we are going through the major arcana uh, images in uh, decks and stuff and talking about the upright meaning and the reverse meaning. I am working on putting together a workshop for. Um, for for tarot reading and oracle reading as well. I do a lot of uh, tarot card and oracle cards. And this Saturday, we are having our present message reading um, that evening. So planning on that. Okay, so oil next? No. Okay, what next? Incense. Incense next. Okay. Uh, okay, what kind of incense do we got? Thank you. Sanctuary so Ritual Incense Sticks. These wonderful uh, aromatic, uh, aromatic, 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 <laughs> ritual incense sticks were placed within this collection to bring a sense of calm and tranquility yeah. into your space. As you allow the smoke, from this incense to walk throughout your area, 
take a deep and intentional breath, allowing yourself to focus on the sacred task at hand. I prefer the oracle cards over the tarot cards as well when it comes to to uh, working with the cards. I have a lot of decks, <coughs> and I do work with the tarot just fine, but I really find that I, I enjoy working with the oracle decks more than the tarot decks. Wow, so pretty. I would say it's kind of like being in a meadow. Kind of like when I envision a meadow, that's kind of the smell that I'm getting from these incenses. Is it's kind of like being in this beautiful, sacred meadow. What do you think? If we go missing, blame me. Um, apparently, she keeps on saying things like that. I guess she plans on like taking a lot of my stuff. So. Okay, what we got next? Which one? There's the oil oh. and the mm, candle. Candle. Let's do the oil last. Okay. I'm not seeing my dropper for the oil. I sure hope it's in there. I really like it when they send the dropper. Maybe they've already put it in there. Like maybe I don't know. It's the other one doesn't have the dropper either. Usually they send the dropper. Maybe they just couldn't get it with for this box. I don't know. I like I like the dropper. <coughs> dropper makes me happy. I'm gonna read about the candle. Okay, read about the candle. Oh, that. it's super cute. It's a lavender color. Oh, of meaning and magic mini candles, mini spell candle. We have hand rolled this meaning of magic mini spell candle with the intention of enhancing the magic that flows throughout your space as you allow the flame to dance before you. Take the time to resonate with the power that it entails within this season and what it means to you. Very cool. Very cool. Very nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? I have one question for you guys. Can you hear me fine? Can you hear Charity? Last night we uh, heard that there were some some problems with the audio so she's working on projecting her voice so that's that's one of those things that we're when she reads she's she's trying to project her voice because she's in drama so this is kind of good practice for her so if you can't hear her let us know so we can tell her to project a little bit more <coughs> okay oh sherry says she's hears you fine leah says you're a little muffled Okay. Okay. So, and then we have one more thing, which is our oil. So start reading about the oil blend. Okay. Samhain Magical Anointing Oil. Ooh. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of enhancing the energy that surrounds you so that you may receive relevant messages and signs during this season, this one this is a wonderful oil to anoint magical tool, tools with, as well as statues, coins, and talismans. Okay, let's see what it that smells like. May be used on these nights. Hmm. We have enchanted this magical uh, oil with anise, Tell me the orange in there. Yang yang. Lang lang. Lang lang and sandalwood oils, and have included mugwort and yarrow as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz. I never find a Lemurian Said quartz in mine. Said to one's nest within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our thinning veil magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. The base of this oil is sunflower oil. Some might be more sensitive than others when in contact with skin external use only. I think there might be some cranberry in that other one because I can smell cranberry. A hint of it, but it smells cranberry-esque. So. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sherry. <laughs>
Isn't she cutie? This one's my youngest. This is the baby of the family. My youngest daughter. My eldest daughter is a college student. Is a college student. She's not up here right now. The youngest is me, what, what and I'm you? a middle schooler. So oh. yeah. Baby, the youngest buddy. daughter or the youngest child she has is a middle schooler. Yeah, it's true. Thanks for like. Just saying I'm old without saying I'm old. <laughs> okay, guys. This was a really nice box. Um, I got a herb that I, I don't have in my apothecary, which I always, always enjoy doing. It's one of the reasons I get this box is to not only keep my apothecary in stock, but to try different herbs. I've never even heard of Mother Wart. Um... It may be I've heard of it in a, uh, under a different name, or maybe it's a passing thing that I've seen in the past, but it's not something that I've actively ever worked with. So I'm really looking forward to working with this. You're really staring at that camera intently, Mom. Like, you can see the, something inside of the camera. I'm having a deep connection with everyone who's looking at me. Goof. <laughs> the the incense is always on point for me. Um, I ha I don't think I've met an incense that they sent us, and I was like, I don't really like it. I actually really enjoy rather than the incense sticks. And if anyone from the witch's roots or the witch's moon is watching, which I think is probably outside of the realm of possibility, but I can always keep my fingers crossed. Um, I really, really like the the uh twisted oh, ones. The yeah. the yeah, the, I have those, and I'm almost out of them. I really like the ones that are twisted. You guys are the first ones to introduce me to this, These and ones. I I love this type of incense. Uh, I got it my very first uh roots, which is roots box. I am in love with this type of incense. So if anybody from Witch's Moon or, or Witch's Roots is watching, I would love more of these. <laughs> so I'm kind of like using these sparingly because I love burning them so much. They're so easy to burn and maintain and clean up after. I really enjoy using these. And um, these were the first ones that I got. I'm almost out. I never expected that I'd enjoy using this more than I use. Uh, I like using like, I like using loose incense, just fine and everything. Honestly, all forms of incense I haven't had any problems with, but this one I find that I really, <coughs> really enjoyed using. So, oh, I love dragon's blood. Lavender is an amazing smell. Yes. And we have two sherries here. <laughs> oh, that's so we have cool. we yeah we have Sherry Frey and Sherry Carter here, and I think Sherry Carter has actually been here before. I think. Which one of you is the, is the newer one to our page? I have begun it. Uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Um, Sherry Car no Sherry Carter's uh, new to our lives. Okay. So that's cool. And she says she's actually burning Nag Shampa. Cool, very cool. So yeah, this is I got this from uh Witches Roots, and I really hope that they give me another package of this type of incense because I really really like using it. Uh, but I've never been disappointed with any of their incense. I love the coin. It's super cute. It's gonna go over on my goddess shelf. Uh, I have a shelf dedicated to my goddess deities, uh, and the different. Uh, forms that she takes. Um, I haven't, again, the Aurora Quartz is kind of new to my collection. So this is my very first Aurora Rose Quartz. So I'm really excited to add this to my collection. I don't have a Rose Quartz Pendulum. So again, a very, very, very welcome sort of experience to have this, this pretty rose quartz with the moonstone um it has the flow of energy here is very very nice very balanced and it feels very light so if you like working with a light sort of pendulum 
the energy that I'm getting from this particular combination is very light compared to some of my other pendulums that I've worked with. So I'm looking forward to working with this further. Love. I love my oil, but I'm kind of sad that I didn't get my dropper. Uh, that's one of the things I really like about Witch's Roots the dropper. is the fact that she they bring it. Her dropper. <laughs> right. They, they add a dropper to to the box. And usually, actually, if you look at some of my other bottles, this is a smaller bottle than what I usually get from the Witch's Roots. So that's probably why we don't have a dropper is because it's a smaller size bottle than uh, what they typically put in. So this is probably just a special size model for this particular um, box uh, this this month. So um, hopefully next month we get our dropper, but it smells, I wanna say it smells like orange and kind of like gingerbread. So it's like an orange gingerbread sort of smell to me with a little bit of cranberry. Kind of like if you've ever had orange cranberry bread like the dessert bread i make it every year for um for the the winter months and some of my uh i think i make it for um i make it for yule more oh. than i do for sap Samhain. so um but it's it's one of the breads that i make it is so it smells so good and this smells just like my bread <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, this is a welcome smell in our house. Um, and I always, always enjoy the artwork that is included. Um, Witch's Moon and Witch's Roots works with an amazing artist by the name of is A. E. Alden. A. E. Alden. And it's just amazing work. I'm always very impressed with the work that is put forth by this this artist and I'd be more than happy to pay just for the artwork alone. This is a $24 box. You get all of these things for $24 plus tax. It takes it up to about 30 something for me. Um, I think it's like 31, which I happily every month pay. I am never disappointed by this box. So if you are the type of person who really likes to build your apothecary, your herbs, um, your oils, your incense, this box is definitely for you. Um, they don't ever pay me. I have no sponsors. I pay for all these boxes out of my pocket. No one's sending me boxes for free to promote them. These are absolutely boxes that I pay for and I have the choice to, to give whatever opinion I, I want to. But yeah, the witch's roots, it Sherry. Roots. It, yeah, he's kind of sad that um, uh, Sherry Carter. It is quite sad that your cat has asthma, so you technically burn it in one room. Yeah, uh, animals are much more sensitive to um, they don't metabolize a lot of the the like oils and incense and stuff that we can yeah. so it they have a hard time with it that's why i make sure to um if i'm burning anything either i do it in one room or do it in a well ventilated space yeah. i'm going to send i'm getting the here's the link the witch's roots is done by the same company that does the witch's moon okay they have three boxes they have the witch's moon the witch's bounty and the witch's roots. Uh, if you want to grow your herb stash, I absolutely suggest doing the witch's roots. They focus on one herb, um, and it comes with it always comes with an oil. It always comes, <coughs> uh, well, oil sort of thing because one time we got a spray, like a room spray. Um, so it comes with like a ritual oil or a room spray. It always comes with a stone. It always comes with some kind of incense, um, always comes with a candle, always comes with an herb, always comes with the amazing printout. And then there's a, um, it varies from like the coin and the pendulum can be like, I've gotten beautiful pieces of um, necklaces. necklaces from or, them or the wind chime that we have for or a wind there. chime. So, um, that, that other piece that like seventh piece that comes in with it. 
Um, it always varies depending on the theme. This is the guided seer, so they included the pendulum, uh, I, I suspect, because it is a um, sort of a guided divination sort of tool. So I'm very excited to use all of these items to put them away. First, I got to make my uh, TikTok video of it all. So let Johnny, me see. that's pretty funny. <coughs> let me see what we've got in the comments here. Oh, and Sherry Bry Sherry La likes the coin. It's this. Um, yeah. I don't know how to say your last name, but I know it's not Sherry Garter. Um, Fry. Fry. Okay. Fry. It might be Frey. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, um, got a gorgeous amethyst pendulum and it likes to work only with the boxing. Yeah, sometimes they of, are picky. It's kind of cool that it's like that. Yeah. Some, some, uh, stones or, um, tools are picky that way like i have a bell that likes to stay out <coughs> while my other bells are always put away um i have a tarot deck that won't read for anyone outside of my family <laughs> so it's kind of fun to to feel out the personalities of each uh item in your tools uh, be it a crystal be it a physical tool be it a um, like divination tool, beauty, things like that. I think it's cool. I'm going. Wow, well, Johnny. That can't let me pet it, and I have witch's blessing. You think so, you Johnny? Think so, Johnny. Cutie boy. Uh, check out the witch's moon box first. Uh, the witch's moon. Um, I did an unboxing yesterday. If you want to look at the videos, we did that yesterday gorgeous box i loved it like i am still gaga about my about the the little box that came in and it uh i'm trying to figure out what special thing to put in it they are sold out for november they do open up their subscription uh in on the 10th of each month uh the so witch is yeah on the 10th of november, yeah, november it'll be for the one. Right. Right now, the Witch's Roots is still open for the United States. They are sold out internationally oh, and Canada. for Canada. So if you want, it's $29. It is still open for November's uh, subscription. So I looked at their website just now. Um, but wait, I'm in Oracle and Benjamin. Try out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Trying to walk away mom. and have me follow it a few times to trick me into entering Paywall. Here's just what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you're just so silly. <laughs> yeah, the cat's trying to trick you into a fairy ring. You're going to be gone for like a thousand years or something. You silly, silly boy. Replaced by a changeling. Right, exactly. No more D and D for you, Johnny. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I've got to let this one go to bed. It is past her bedtime. Um, yeah, yeah. She's got school tomorrow, so that'll work by me right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Sherry. We'll send you some healing love, some healing energy your way for that knee. I I know knees. Uh, they're not pleasant to hurt. Don't let anybody take your kneecaps. It's very bad for your health. She's so silly. Okay, she's got to go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. You guys stay safe, stay healthy, and until Saturday, I'll be back. Um, you guys, um, many, many blessings to you. We're still working on the outro. Sorry. We're working on that outro. <laughs> well, See ya! See.